Welcome back to another session of SOLIDWORKS tutorial. Here I'll be telling you how to use uh, Spline as your profile path for generating a well member. So it's, it's, it's a bit tricky, so I'll be, I won't be using the st structural member itself. For this, I'll be using a few other operations in order to execute this. Okay, let's start. So I've already had the sketch over here, sketch me. So it consists of two straight lines on the other side of the spline that is connecting them. So I'll go to structural member. I'll select the first straight line to generate my structural member, that is a element. And I'll, go, I'll select again the second line for my structural member. And I'll exit out of it. Okay, right now what I'll do is I'll just select this space to generate. Um, uh, to generate my sketch profile and I'll select uh, inner and outer edges of the tube and I'll say convert entity to copy the profile on the present sketch plane. I'll exit out of this sketch and I'll do the same for second element. Okay, now I've done it for both. I'll jump to feature and uh, but before that, I'll go in a sectional view so that um, you can view the things completely. Since it's being a circular in profile, you cannot sectional view so that the uh, things are visible to you as well. I'll go to locked bows and base. I'll select the outer profile. Say OK. I'll select the outer profile of the end sketch. And I'll say OK. And you could see the loft has been formed connecting them. Now, I'll, I won't select the uh, guide curve, so I'll, I'll select the center line because I want the sketch to flow along with the spline. And now you could see, it's perfect. It follows the spline perfectly. So you could see here, right? Um, right now you could identify it's, it's a solid flow, so I have to go for locked cut in order to profile, in order to maintain the same well profile. So but before that, I'll just make these two sketches visible. I'll jump to loft cut and uh, I'll select the inner profile. I'll say okay. I'll select the inner profile for the second sketch. I'll say okay. And again, I'll select the center line as my parameter. I'll say okay. Now, here we go. Now we have created a, a weldment profile along this plane. Well, this is uh, the thing that you will really understand. like. A thing that I would really like to tell you about the SOLIDWORKS here is um, basically in, when you go in a weldment and when you try to create a weldment for a non-parametric sketch entities, it may not accept it. Why? Because there is a manufacturing problem. You, uh, you will really face a problem of manufacturing with such type of tubes. Why? Because of limitations. So solid, under in SOLIDWORKS, a structural member will not accept a such type of profiles for a generation. So in one way, it helps you to understand what are the manufacturing limitations are. So um, I hope this video was informative enough.